Okay, welcome to the Sign Designer. In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload your own print ready artwork for use when ordering roll up banners. Okay, the first thing for you to know is the dimensions of a roll up banner or the dimensions of the file which you will upload for use with a roll up banner. Okay, so if I, I've done this very quick design here in Adobe Illustrator. Um, if I click on the red rectangle in the background and click on transform, I can see the dimensions are 850 millimeters by 2020 millimeters. That's 850 millimeters left to right, 2020 millimeters top to bottom. Okay, I created the design and then I've exported it as a .jpg file. So it's a .jpg file. I exported it at 300 dpi and I exported it as a CMYK file. So for your export, it's full size, 850 by 2020. They're the dimensions you're looking for. Um, you're looking for the export to be 300 DPI. You're looking for it to be CMYK. Okay, um, that's the first thing that you need to know before you even get to the sign designer. So with that done, let's proceed. So we'll go to the sign designer website. Here we are and we're working with roll-up banners okay so click on there that takes us to the roll-up banner page so if we click now at the green button that says start designing and this will take us to the design studio okay you will see the artboard in the center of the page matches the dimensions we spoke about previously 850 by 2020 millimeters Okay, that's what you created and exported your artwork at. So all what we need to do is import or upload the artwork you've already created. So let's click on the upload button in the top right corner. It's going to ask us to tick this box to say that we have the rights to use these images, which we have. So tick it and then tick on the cloud, which will take you to your local drive. Okay, so the file I've created and exported is Rollup Banner 01 at the top here. So one click and then open. And it's now going to, I'm now uploading that file via the internet to the Sign Designer website. And we should see it pop up on the right hand side here. We'll be there in a moment. Okay, uh, I have rather a fast connection here. Yours might not be as fast as mine, but don't worry about it. It will get there eventually. And you need to be seeing the preview inside the box like this. Okay, so the next thing for me to do is to click this image once and it will place the file in the middle of the artboard. Okay, now it's brought the file in at approximately 50% size, so we need to scale it up. Not a problem, we know the dimensions we're looking for. So the width is 850, let's not forget that. Very important for me to let you know that this tick needs to stay on here. Okay, so make sure that text tick stays on and change the width to 850 and hit return or enter. And in a moment, there we go, our artwork has been resized. Okay, so the only thing left for me to do is to position it centrally. On the artboard I could pick it up try to move it around and get it right I do not like to do that I like to do it very accurately so I go over to the align tool and I click on the vertical align and then the central align the horizontal align sorry and then decent and then click here to deselect and there we are so we created our uh, artwork at 100% size uh, 850 by 2020 we exported that artwork as a 300 dpi dot jpg file in cmyk and there we go so that's how you upload print ready artwork for use with your roll up banner okay the last thing for you to do is tick on the uh, green cart Quantity, I've changed my mind, I want two of them, so I can change mine to two and then proceed. Are you ready to place your order? Yes. It'll just do a little bit of thinking now while it adds it to the checkout. Uh, 
and there we go folks there's a checkout with your roll-up banner artwork in there quantity of two there's the price and that's about it if you follow the uh, directions I've just given you you will have no problems whatsoever okay thank you for watching uh, I hope you found this video tutorial uh, uh, worth watching and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next one okay thank you very much